to another Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Holly and today I'll be teaching a new balloon creation since it's Tuesday, which means it's Tutorial Tuesday. So, today I have a very special creation for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests for this specific animal and I've been kind of maybe avoiding it just a little bit because I didn't have a good design for it that I've ever liked. I've played around with a few different things and just wasn't really happy with it. So this is one that I kind of tended to avoid too when people would ask me for it. But not anymore because today I spent a little time this morning and figured out a design that I'm happy with and I hope that you guys will like it too. So. The tutorial I'm going to be teaching you today is a panda bear. Yay! I know, super exciting. Um, I do get requested uh, to make panda bears pretty often, and usually I just do like a black teddy bear with a white belly and nose that's kind of cheesy. So now I have a real panda bear. So I'm going to show it to you guys, and hopefully you'll like it, and your clients and customers will love it and think you are just the most awesome balloon artist in the world. That's the goal, anyway. Okay, so for our panda bear, I'm trying to remember, we're going to need two black 260s and one white to get us started. And then we're also going to need a five inch white round a little bit later on. But let's go ahead and get started with this white one here. I'm going to blow it up six pumps. And make sure this is pretty nice and soft. So let some air out. And then we're going to take one of our black 260s and blow that up just about four or five pumps. Doesn't matter too much. Just get some air in there. All right. I'm going to see if my balloons will stick to the wall. <laughs> Almost. I really want to, let's see. Nope. Oh, well, I'm not as cool as some other uh, YouTube balloon artists. But anyway, I've got, I'll do my own thing here. Okay, so we're gonna start off for our panda. We're gonna do his nose first. We're gonna work on the face. So I'm gonna make a very small loop here in the beginning. Uh, just basically gonna put larger pinch twist. So maybe about that size bubble and pinch it on itself. And we're working on his mouth here, his nose and his mouth. And we're gonna do his two cheeks. So we're gonna do two more loops a little bit bigger than his mouth, but not too much bigger. We're going to stay nice and little and cute. Okay? So now we've got something like this. Okay, now we're going to do his eyes. For this part, you want to make sure your balloon is very soft and squishy. You'll see why in a little bit. So just squeeze it out there and make about a three or four inch bubble. And another bubble exactly the same size. And twist those together. Okay, so there we've kind of gotten beginnings of our panda bear's head. Um, in the back here, you're going to want to do a pinch twist. You can do it now or later. I'm just going to do mine now. Save some confusion. So just pinch twist right here in the back. Okay, and we've got this land facing up. So hopefully you can see all that. And now I'm going to stick his ears on right here before we do anything else. So. My black balloon, which did not stick onto my wall like the cool people, is going to, we're going to take the nozzle of this and just wrap it around here a couple times. It won't be super secure like this, but it's okay for now. So just wrap it on there like once or twice. Get it in there, it's really not going to go anywhere. These are going to be the panda's ears, so you want to make them kind of smaller loops. Pandas don't have huge ears. So maybe about that big. Twist. Make it nice and soft. Make another one. Same size. And twist. Like that. And you're going to get rid of the rest of this and save it for his nose. So I'll just hold on to that. And I'm going to tie this piece that I broke off to the nozzle just to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. These are going to be our panda ears. Now you're going to take this piece that's left over of the white from behind. 
we're going to pull out his eyes. This, is, this doesn't make a lot of sense at first, but it will in a minute. Pull his eyes out, make a nice squishy, and then bring the white teeth from the back over the top of the ears and twist them into the mouth here. So you kind of want to squish the eyes down a little bit. Actually, tie a knot in there. 
Okay, now to attach his nose, we're going to stick it right through the middle of this loop that we made here for his nose. So just feed that tail right through the middle of that loop. Pull it through like that, and then you can wrap this around uh, in the back and cheeks and stuff. There we go. And now you've got a couple of different options for his eyes. Uh, you can either draw his eyes on or use little balloon dots here. Make little balls out of black balloons and put those here. Um, I'm going to try drawing the eyes on. I was practicing panda bear eyes earlier today and it wasn't going so well. <laughs> so I'm going to try one more time to get it right. I'll show you what I'm doing here as I go. So I'm going to start making the regular eye that I usually draw on my balloons. And then I'm going to make a kind of a half circle thing around it on the outside. Like that. And then I'm going to draw kind of a wavy, messed up, dripping looking circle around it and then I'm going to fill that in with black. Okay, and then you can give him a little eyebrow. Yeah, that's better than all the other attempts I had today. Okay, now I'm going to just do the same thing opposite on the other side for his other eye. Alright, so they're not exactly identical, but they're close enough, okay? <laughs> okay. So that's basically the panda. There's one more thing that's really cute that you can do, so I want to show you that really quick. Just take a green 260, doesn't have to be blown up or anything, fold it in half, cut both ends off here together at the same time, and then cut the balloon in half. So you've got two pieces here. Go away. Alright, and we're just going to stick those in his mouth. Oh wait, it looks like he's eating some bamboo. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so there is the panda bear that everybody has been asking me for. I hope this satisfies everyone's request for a panda bear. Um, I looked at a lot of pictures of panda bears that other people had made and I wasn't really happy with any of them. I wasn't happy with the one I was doing. So I came up with this one this morning. I like it. I hope that you guys like it. Please definitely let me know what you think down in the comments, and I read all the comments, so keep them coming, along with your suggestions, questions, uh, requests, advice, anything you guys want to talk to me about, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already, I do appreciate that, and you'll get notified every time I post a new video um, every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. So. Thanks again for watching my videos. Uh, the channel's really growing and I'm just super excited about all these ideas that I have for new videos that I want to show you guys and just new things that we can do. So keep watching. Thank you so much. And I will see you next Tuesday for another balloon tutorial. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, P.S. I actually wanted to mention also that not only is this panda bear cute, but he can also sit on his own very well. So, makes a great table topper as well. Okay, now I'm done. See you next time.